everybody how are you my name is lizzie welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel for all my subscribers thank you for coming back i appreciate and adore you all new and old <laughs> um this is a pickle pile um it will be what is the current tea on your love situation the truth that you need to know for your person what's going on with them how do they feel everything that you have been desiring to know spirit has got your tea for you this could be a crush a current spouse a current boyfriend girlfriend um twin flame soulmate any kind of love situation um they will find it its way to you if it's meant for you if it's vibing for you please hit the like button below um hit the subscribe button if you dig my gift or like my channel it will help me grow and i appreciate it so much um or just hit the like button i appreciate that as well i like the feedback to know if i'm vibing for the collective out there which is massive so hopefully this finds it, its way to you if it's for you i'm still doing all weekend the fresh to death series for jersey shore and this one is how to keep your legs fresh to death this winter <laughs> so um i'm gonna show you an item and give you a song so hopefully it'll help you pick better um pile number one is shave gel i find that this is better than shaving cream um if you have severely sensitive skin i would try gel i wouldn't even go for the cream um so pile number one is the shave gel and the song is the lighthouse keeper by sam smith very pretty song I shuffled and this is what popped up for pile one. So shave gel pile one. Um, the Lighthouse Keeper by Sam Smith is your song. Pile number two. Gotta have that good shaver head ladies to keep them legs fresh to death men. Use your imagination. I only have girl products. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, your song is For the Love That I Lost by Sam Smith. I didn't even pick Sam Smith smith twice they just came up i guess we're the collective is vibing to sam smith today so shaver head and for the one, lover that i lost by sam smith is your song and finally you need a good intensive lotion that's going to keep your skin protected through the dry season um the bitter cold it does sh horrible things to my fucking skin so having a good lotion um it's vital. So pile number three, that's the lotion. And your song is from Shawn Mendes called Wonder. So pause it, rewind it back if you need more time. If not, we're going to get right in to pile number one. You picked the shave gel. Let me, actually, <laughs> let me timestamp for you. 2.58 is the official time, but I'm going to do it again. This is what you picked, the shave gel. And your song, again, was from Sam Smith, The Lighthouse Keeper. Just one more time in case you missed it or want to write it down. We're going to start with some channeled messages from your person to you. I'm sick of waiting for you. I'm sick of watching you pretend I'm over this mess. We'll get some more. I'm, this could be you as well. Take what resonates. Let me read through these and I'll pick them apart for you. My hands are tied. I want to talk to you, but I can't do that. I want to offer you a solid commitment and I want to tell you how I feel, but I still have things to clear up at this time. It's not me, it's you. Okay, so this is you. <laughs> you're over it, you're sick of it, you're frustrated, very frustrated. I feel like you're a divine feminine out there who's frustrated. Or you're just in the feminine energy. Remember, feminine energy doesn't necessarily mean you're a girl. Uh, energy has no gender. This person wants you to know that they want to offer you a solid commitment. They want to talk to you. They just can't until their mess is cleared up. I don't know if they're with a karmic or whatnot, but they have some things to deal with that are literally taping their mouth shut that they can't just rush in and tell you how they feel. I know you're into me. I dress nice the way you like. I smile and try to make you show your feelings for me. It's working. That's you again, Divine Feminine. You're trying to, you're trying to pull them in. Again, remember, Divine Feminine doesn't mean that you're a girl. If you're a guy watching this, this is still for you. You're just in the Divine Feminine energy. You can Google the differences. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> the differences between the energies. I'm clearing my karmic out of my life. 
It will be over soon. Hold on. Union coming soon. I feel like that's true for both of you. You both have karmic messages. Messages. <laughs> messes or things to learn still. Over my head. I don't feel like this person is... I don't feel like you, the viewer, are seeing their clues. I feel like they're trying to give you subconscious clues on how they act or they're trying to communicate to you in 5D to let you know that they are coming but you're just not getting those signs. You think they're a player and that you know how to say and do things to get what they want. You think your person's a player because they're obviously entertaining someone else and you feel like they have feelings for you as well. So they, you feel like they're just playing games with you right now. Or you could be marrying each other here. I'm sick about losing you. I'm upset with myself for running and not telling the truth. You're all I ever wanted and I feel I've lost you now. I'm heart sick about it all. So your person is clearly not a player. I feel like you overwhelm them, which happens in a twin flames. This could be a twin flame situation. Or in general, they just never felt this way in love. They never felt this way about anybody and you scared the shit out of them. So they ran. And now they're like, why the fuck did I do that? I'm such an idiot. <laughs> you know, and they're going through that like, duh. <laughs> you know, we all want love. Why was I so scared of it? They're sick about it. I'm a little shocked. I wasn't looking for love or to be connected to someone in this way. I'm sure I'm ready to take this Oh, I'm not sure I'm ready to take this on. I'm not sure what to do or feel about you. I'm going a little... I can't read ever. It's going a little too fast. It's a little intense and I'm freaked out. <laughs> so that, this is explaining why they ran. Exactly like I said. They got freaked out. They got shook. They didn't know what to do. They ran, but they're regretting it. If you want them in your life, you have to open up your heart and tell them how much they mean to you. So they're recognizing that they need to come forward here. They just can't right now. I don't know if it's because they're getting a divorce or maybe you're a long distance. Maybe you're with someone. I'm not sure how we would make this work. You're very different than anyone I've ever known. And we're both already in commitments and live far away. Well, there you go. <laughs> I didn't even read that ahead. So you're far away. You're both with people. So they're waiting for you to get out. You're waiting for them to get out. They're waiting for you to make a move. You're waiting for them. You're like at a stalemate here. Newly in separation from your lover. So you could be in separation from your lover, your other person, or your person you're thinking of might not be just yet. And if you're not newly separated, this is them. Freedom fighter, you're both fighting for your freedom to come together here. You both have picked each other and you're both realizing that things need to dead for you to come together here. There is some deception with the mask wearing. Neither one of you have told each other how you feel. Neither one of you are telling each other that you're getting out of situations to come together. Because the separation, far distance and a long amount of time. Maybe you're both feeling like it might be in your head a little bit. But you're trusting that in the end you two are going to wind up together and so is your person. It's like you gave it up to the divine, you know what I mean? Like, we're meant to be, we're fated, I feel like you're both feeling that. Cause, yeah, because your person feels like it's true love. They trust that you're going to take them back deep in their heart. They're hoping for it. Um, it's not like they think you're just going to wait around for them, but they're hoping for that. I feel like you're recognizing as well that you're very in love with them, that you're never going to get over this person. The sword and the rose. Clarity, truth, revelation. Yeah, you're going to come forward with that communication soon. I am getting holiday season vibes, which is this week coming up all the way to Christmas. The chaser, you might be trying to chase them right now. I feel like you're swapping, like one of you is a runner, run of, one of you is a chaser, and then it swaps. So I really feel like this is a twin flame type of situation, or soulmate if you're more comfortable with that word. But you're chasing them. You want them back. You're looking for signs. You're looking for clues. You're hoping that they come back. But I feel like your person's on the same vibe. They're ge gearing up to come chase you. You just can't just yet. Yeah, they see an abundance with you. Like the happy life. The right kind of love. 
Um, they could be working on money here, um, preparing for your life together, pulling in the abundance. They do still feel like they're not good enough for you, whatever sense that is. Um, maybe they don't feel like they have enough. They're, and you're also very frustrated because um, it says frustrated in relationship. That's you, the viewer. Lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego, issues, jealousy. You both are jealous of each other's karmics and you being with other people. You're both a little bit in your ego, not admitting that. I feel like you both messed up at some sense, if that makes sense. Or um, your person could be trying to ruin this before it starts out of anger. Not like trying on purpose, but they could be saying things and doing things that will make you feel like they don't want you back. But I just feel like you, the viewer out there, you're very frustrated. I feel like you're mirroring each other, if that makes sense. The black egg, the snake, the hyena, and the fox. <sighs> Dark night of the soul for both of you. This has been a long, hard process. We can't accept the good parts of our life until we accept the dark parts of ourselves. I feel like you're both dealing with shadow work right now. Healing up from any karmic lessons on your shadow side. Cosmic snake here for me is... You're both recognizing that this, you came into each other's life for a purpose. You're both very meaningful and important. Um, even if you don't exactly know what that importance is, you know that each other matters to you and it, it's not going to go away. you got to face this connection. Hyena. They're taking me to the moon. It's like this person is wishing, like howling at the moon for you. They could be very in their sexual vibe for you, very attracted to you in that sense. Fox, excuse you, baby days. Sorry, she came down. I told she, I told her she could come down for one video because she's been very naughty down here, and it's a little bit cold there for her. Uh, this is like trying to get your attention, trying to be sly about it. Uh, like I said, they're subconsciously trying to talk to you because they just can't. The sly fox creeping up on you. You might not see him coming. All right, some Angel Tarot, we have the Empress. Ooh, they see you as somebody very nurturing, um, very abundant in love, gonna give them the abundance they long for in love. Give birth to your dreams, nurture yourself and others. You're very nurturing to them. Justice, this is talking about a divorce or justice of them. You're gonna get your justice in the sense that they're gonna come back, realizing that you were the one, they ran, they fucked up. They made the mistake, but I also feel like one or both of you is, is getting a divorce. Oh my God, we got the Emperor and the Empress. This is a twin flame situation. You're both recognizing it. King of Earth, a successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you're offered. The Midas touch. Yeah, I feel like your person's trying to work on money or their career to be in a good place with that before they come to you. Yeah, the world, the job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path toward enlightenment. Um, you woke this person up spiritually. They're really on board um, in the sense of they're more spiritual than they ever were. They feel like this is a spiritual connection. They feel like it's important. They've grown up a lot. They're doing that work, which is good. Potential, think big for your future. Yeah, they... They think big things for you, too. Like you're going to be happy. You're going to have a successful life. Um, you're both going to be successful with money. Um, could be successful having children, happy home. They just see the potential with you to be very happy. Seven deadly sins. Humanity's destructive traits. Yeah, you're both doing your shadow work. Learning really hard lessons on both sides, which would create that frustration, anger. It's because you're transmuting all the toxic things about yourselves so that union can come in you're getting rid of what doesn't serve you anymore yeah new beginnings are coming with that dragon i feel like it's a twin flame that says union they're bo you're both thinking about union here they might even be plan making plans to come into union here they're just not telling you and you're not telling them battle of the blues they're still battling themselves and Feeling a lack here, not feeling enough, not feeling like you'll forgive them or take them back. 
Sacred Temple, number five. Gearing up for that change. Really trying to zen out and get out of that depressive like state. Not feeling good enough or like they have enough to offer you. They're, they're trying to be happy with themselves before they come towards you. Intuition and manifestation. Yeah, they're trying to manifest a way for you to forgive them. For you to understand what's going on. Like, don't think... Like, whatever you do, Spirit, just let them know that I love them too, but they can't physically say it. I do feel like a divorce is happening or a long-term separation. Intention, discovery. Discovering the truth about how they feel for you right now. That it doesn't matter if they feel like they're not enough. They are enough. You're always enough for the one. We're just trying to work up that nerve here. A milestone has reached in your connection, which means union is coming coming soon because you're both doing that work you're both growing you're both realizing what this connection is but there is still some stuck energy um on one or both sides not being like not feeling like you're going to get out of your karmic situations or your karmic lessons feeling like it's a stalemate like you don't know where each other stands let's get some animal throw here Ace of Feathers, Mental Clarity, Foundation. Exactly, your person's trying to center themselves. Really figuring out what they want, what they want to say to you, how they're going to come, making that plan. Four of Acorns, Comfort and Community. They might be trying to fix relationships. Um, I feel like this person lost uh, connections with their family and friends because of a karmic. Or they're trying to, this could even be trying to promote themselves to get a new job get more work two of crystals balance and adaptability they want to be balanced as they're getting out of karmic i just feel like a divorce or a separation from a long term they're adapting to being on their own they're adapting to change and i don't feel like this person handles change very well but they're trying to because they know that they're changing for the better and they're going in a better direction but there's still some sad feelings and and some hurt that they need to heal from. And like I said, they're scared of change. Strength, courage, and endurance. They're gaining that strength to just, it's almost to the end. Like they said, union coming soon. They're gaining that strength to get out of this mess, to stay strong and fighting for you, and to come and approach you because I feel like they're a little intimidated. Four of shells, soul searching, reevaluation. Yeah, they're trying. They're searching their soul like, do I really have a chance with this person? I feel like you, the viewer, have been sending out a little bit of hostile vibes or frustrated vibes or vibes like you're walking away. So like, have I lost this person? Is it even worth coming? They're trying to read between the signs here, read between your words and your actions and really trying to peg you right now. Seven of shells, choice and ambitions. They made that choice. You are what they want. They just don't know how to approach you. You're very intimidating. Three of crystals, collaboration and productivity. Yeah, they're trying to gain like, it's like they're trying to gain a business partner or gain um, assets and career. Networking, I'm hearing. They're just focusing on raise, not only raising their money, but raising their success. Um, maybe they feel like they have to have a certain amount or a certain stature to be with you because they don't feel good enough. So this is them trying to get what they need to be good enough for you. So I hope that was helpful. Pile number one, that was a lot. All right, pile number two, you are at 1847. All right, pile two, you picked the shavers. Good choice. Gotta have the right shaver head. <laughs> Your song was... For the Lover I That I Lost by Sam Smith. Very sad song. All right, let's get some channel messages from your person. I'm so sad and lost without you. I need you in my life so much. I'd give anything for one more chance to be with you. I cry every night in agony that I lost you. Please come back to me. Mm. So the dark night of the soul of this person. They gave up on this connection. They think that you gave up. I wish I told you how I felt. I wish I didn't let my fears win. I wish I never ran from you at all. If I could go back and do it all again, I wouldn't have wasted a second telling you how I feel. And I never would have let you walk out my of my life. I feel like such a fool. I feel like I lost you for good and it breaks my heart. Okay, so they're recognizing they ran. 
I fucked up here. They know it. They're feeling it. I know my worth. I know what I want. I'm comfortable in my own skin and I don't count or need anyone to make me happy. What will be will be. I'm not waiting on you. I'm doing my thing. So again, this is how they feel you are. You're not waiting on them. You're over it. Doing your own thing. You don't need anyone. You're very independent. They pulled away from you because they feel you have too much drama going on. Again, this is you, the viewer. You're like, this is too much drama, guessing. Um, maybe this person has a third party. You're angry about words said between or about you from them. Your person's angry, though, because I feel like you've been a bit harsh to them. Uh, maybe you've, you told them the truth and that's harsh to hear. Sometimes they need it. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. And when you least expect it, but really need it, it will come for you. Okay, so when you least expect it and really need it, they have a surprise coming for you out there. Cruise control. They're just trying to they're just trying to get through these crazy times. 2020 has been really hard. They have their sights set on you, they're locked on you, they're just going on that fool's journey, trying to take day by day. They are overwhelmed because they are in the dark night of the soul, feeling like they hurt you. They're very heart sick. Sometimes you just need a little time and space to be okay. If they love you, they'll accept you, have feelings too, and process and give you the time you need to clear your mind. So this is them recognizing that they need to heal and themselves. They have things to work on. And if you really love them, at the end of the day, they feel you're, you're going to be there. Not that you're waiting on them, but if this is, they're like, I got to focus on me, just like you did. Um, I feel like you pulled back when it's too much drama. They're feeling like this is too much drama because they're in the dark night of the soul. And they're like, I got to stand back up now. I got to work on myself. That's what they're doing. When life gets too hard, I close my eyes and I think of you. Your loving smile, your kindness, and your grace. You're my safe place. So, although they're working on themselves and in a hard time, you are their muse. They want to be like you. They hold you in very high regard. Let's get some romance angels. Okay, they're paying attention to the red flags. <laughs> um, when you're angry and you say things, they're recognizing that they hurt you very much and they're paying attention and they're really in their heart about how they're going to fix it. They're also paying attention to the red flags. Um, from spirit and guiding them where they need to go on this fool's journey. But they're also paying attention to any clues you give that maybe you, you are still holding a candle for them as well. They have some codependency. They could be with a karmic. Um, they could be obsessed with you. That could also be a codependency. Um, like it could be karmic. It could be feeling stuck like they don't have enough to get out of their situation or that they don't have enough to offer you. But they do feel it is safe to love you, that you're not going to hurt them. They want to make this better. They want to fix this. They don't want you to be upset. They want to apologize. They want to make peace here, which is good. Camera, clock, hand of cards, and date. Okay, so they're, they're stalking you on social me media, they're watching your videos, they're looking at your pictures, they miss you, they're very upset about losing you, but they understand they need some time, and you need some time to heal, it's just part of the journey I'm hearing, they are understanding that it's going to take some work to come together, they have some making up to do to you, hand of cards, take a chance, risk being strategic, options, no sh not showing hand, gambling. So they're not showing that they're working their way to you. I don't feel like you have any idea that you <laughs> that they are locked on you and that they're coming towards you. Um, they're taking a risk. They're getting rid of um, karmic partners, anything that doesn't serve them, anything that they don't want in their life with you. They're getting rid of it and they're doing it silently. They have date, meeting someone new, dating, get, getting back out there, plan, set a date. Yeah, they want to date. They're, they're planning to woo you, basically. How am I going to get this person to like me? <laughs> All right, we have lion, camel, crow, and eagle. Ooh. Okay. Um, this person might be in the public eye. I don't know why I heard, like, royalty. It could even be, like, a military high rank. Could be a high rank in a business, like a CEO. 
Camel, they've been going through it. It's like... This is like take two on your relationship, but they feel like it's been a dry relationship. No give and take. They haven't given anything to this relationship in a while. And neither of you is like recognizing it's a stalemate here. And they're distraught by that because that's not what they want. But they have crow and eagle, which I feel like they have high intuition, psychic abilities, um, being led by spirit. Crows are how spirits talk to me mostly. <laughs> um sometimes seagulls, <laughs> but mostly crows. And the eagle, they're trying to see the bigger picture. They're trying to be a better person. Um, they just feel like you're very royal, very regal. Um, they don't feel enough for you as well. So they're trying to either be more man-like or more lady-like, trying to raise their own status, um, raise their own vibrations. Let's get some angel trio. Unity, yeah, they're thinking about uni unity and union is coming soon for you both. Tra traditional viewpoints or methods, spiritual organizations, seek out mentors and like-minded friends. Um, they could be doing spiritual work as well. Awakening, look at things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. So this is, the person is awakening spiritually. I feel like this is a twin flame. They're working on their own soul right now. But they're also trying to understand your spiritual side because they feel you're very spiritual as well. They're trying to match you there. Balance. Yeah, they're trying to balance and center themselves and get their feelings under control and do their healing work. Night of water, falling in love or wedding proposals. The need to balance emotions, an invitation to a social event. So they might... Daisy, I told you you're down here for one whole video. Stop. They might... Um, contact you invite you to a social event you might come into union at a social event i feel like they want to offer you a long-term commitment they're very in love with you and they're continuing to fall in love with you queen of earth thoughtful creative warm and sensible make time for those around you take a sensible approach deal with challenges in a kind and understanding <laughs> like i said they feel like they have a lot to make up with you for and they're just trying to plan out the best way to do it to be sensitive to what you need. They don't want to fight. They don't want to argue. They really want to come at you in a respectful, peaceful way because they have a lot of respect for you. Seven heavenly virtues. Keys to goodness. Again, talking about trying to raise their vibrations, connect the spirit, be more of a spiritual person. Originality, trying to be themselves, not hide what they want anymore, not trying to appease anyone but themselves, blazing their own trail towards you. They're letting go of anything that doesn't serve, including karmic situations. Ah, oh, but they feel like there's going to be a confrontation between you. They feel like you are very angry with them and we are going to have some angry words. So they're preparing for that. They're a little scared for that. A conscious of lack. Still not feeling like they have enough to offer you or enough to give you. They do want to have fun with you. They want to bring the fun into this relationship. They want to date and have a good time. But they feel like you're just going to be angry and not give them a chance. They might be traveling towards you. Um, long distance between you two maybe. Or they want to take you on a trip. I'm getting to have some fun. <laughs> getting those vibes as well. They do have hidden motivations. They are trying to butter you up so that when you come together you're not going to scream at them and be totally mad but I don't feel like it's anything evil their motivation you are their muse they're trying to be like you they're trying to get a life with you so they might not say it right away how into you they are but they definitely are they have a great gratitude you you gave them spirituality you gave them faith um, and belief in themselves and maybe they believe in a love a they believe in love again because of you, which is beautiful. Let's close it with some animal tarot. Yeah, and they're in transformation and so are you. This is all part of your journey. You're transforming into the people you need to be to come into union and you're almost there. Knight of crystals, endurance, yeah, de determination. You're both determined for this to happen. Again with the camel. They're in it for the long haul. They're on their way to you. Ace of Crystals, Manifestation and Prosperity. They're trying to manifest a successful 
um, union, a successful conversation so you won't be mad at them anymore. The sun, vitality and joy. This is a good omen here. They, you are the sun. You are the light of their life. Their heart space is full for you, which is cute. Ten of acorns, responsibility and dedication. They're dedicated to you. They want to take responsibility for their actions and their part of hurting you. They want to make up for that, but they want you to feel like you can trust them and count on them always. Knight of feathers, action and focus. They're trying to take action. They're locked on you. Again with the fox. <laughs> They're taking action now, whether you realize it or not. They're working their way to you. The Empress, beauty and abundance. They find you beautiful or handsome. They they want to be have children with you. You are their wish fulfillment, their comfort, their muse, the people that light their heart up. You're everything to them. So that's super cute, pile number two. I hope that was helpful. I hope that was enough tea for you. Let me know in the comments. How it goes because they said union's coming soon how exciting <laughs> all right pile number three start at 31 hi pile number three how are you <laughs> this is the lotion the choice that you picked which is vital to having smooth legs men you can even use this there's no scent if you have dry skin <laughs> all right and your song was sean mendez wonder in case you forgot, let's get some channeled messages from your person. After loving you, I'll never be the same. No one will ever make me feel what you do. That's super cute. Hit the gas. Ooh, they're speeding towards you. They're coming towards you hot. You're single. So either your person is single now or you are. Hurt my feelings. They're a little hurt. Something went down here. A demotion. I couldn't read my own chicken scrap. Sorry. Oh no. I can't trust you. A demotion. I can't trust you. You feel like you can't trust them out there. This is you. They hurt your feelings. You feel like you got stepped down out of their life. Or you could be marrying each other here. What is this? Why can't I stop thinking about you? Why am I so pulled to you? <laughs> so your person is like you've never they've never been affected like this by anyone they they're not quite getting it that it's love or this could be past tense they're trying to level up here or maybe you gave them a demotion you took your love back so you're trying to raise their vibrations and level up and be a be better person so that you can trust them and take them back I have not told anyone that I'm in love with you because I'm protecting you, not because I don't want to. So they love you very much, but they're protecting you from something. Taking the plunge that, yeah, <laughs> this is past tense with what, what is this connection? They, they get it now. They're taking the plunge. They're all in. They're in love with you. And then I have, I'm confused. You're very confused than the viewers. So let's get some information for you. With romance oracles, ooh, they're recognizing you've had multiple lives. I feel like they're seeing dreams. Um, and if they're not seeing it, they just feel like they've known you forever, if that makes sense. They're healing some, for some family issues. This could be divorce, trying to co-parent, co or this is actual healing between siblings and parents. Um, I feel like they're married. Or in some kind of long term that they're trying to get out of here. But they feel like you are the one. That you could be the one. We have acts, breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. So you feel that they have abandoned, they've axed and they're out. But they can't communicate to you for some reason. You guys broke up or in a separation. You feel out there, the viewer, that it's over and done with. We have girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment. Ooh, okay. So if they're in a long term or they're married, they're not anymore. I don't feel like it's public knowledge right now, but they gave it the ax and they're single right now. They have photographed, they're stalking you on social media, trying to figure out if you're single 
trying to figure out if you still, if they have a chance with you, they miss you very much. We have lightning, sudden change, shocking news. Yeah, you're about to find out that this person isn't with anybody. They're single now. Hummingbird. They're making small, quiet movements that people aren't aware. They're doing everything in secret right now because I feel like they have to. Horse. They feel like this is a very spiritual connection. They could, with the past lives, they could be on to twin flames. Bat. Again, referencing they're doing all this like in the dark of night. They're moving towards you in the dark of night. You're not seeing it coming. Well, you have a big, huge impact on this person and their heart and their life. You've changed everything about them. Let's get some Angel Tarot, figure out what's going on a little bit more. We have Ace of Water, falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship. Spiritual growth and enhanced intuition, a new home. So they're moving. They're trying to get a new home for you to get out of the situation. They're very in love with you. They're continuing to fall in love with you. They want to bring this relationship back. Almost done, baby. Three of Fires. Abundance. Things look pretty good. Have patience at this time. Making long-term plans. They're making plans to come towards you. This is so good. King of Air. See, speak your mind with confidence. Seek out a professional advice. Balance mental and emotional considerations. They want to come in and tell you the truth. Um, apologize. They want you to be able to tell your truth and be yourself here page of water a new person enters your life a relationship begins a new phase heightened psychic abilities i feel like this is twin flames because if you're both gifted your intuition is going to be heightened especially when you come into union you're the new person entering their life the new romance too much work help accept help from others life is out of balance stress related health concerns so they might be dealing with some stress and anxiety um, fearing like you're not going to take them back. They're, they're referencing that they're taking on too much work. I feel like they're trying to make some money and, and raise their stature to come in here and it's stressing them out. They're taking leadership, um, setting goals on you. They're, they're gaining the courage to come forward and to gain your forgiveness and to apologize and basically to win you back. Oh my god, unicorn, they are gifted. They are psychic. They have abilities. They understand that this is a twin flame. Um, they have children. They could be trying healing family issues. I feel like they're trying to figure out how to co-parent, what they're going to do with custody, children. Uh, but they are protected. They're keeping their children safe. They're trying to cheer up, and they want to cheer you up. This is them coming out of the dark night of the soul, and this is them coming in because they realize that they hurt you, and they want to they want to heal that hurt. They are feel a loss without you, that you sailed away without them and they're feeling it hardcore, they want you back. But they're also talking about that they lost, e even though we don't like to hear it. At some point they did love their karmic and if a marriage is ending, um, if they have to split time with their children, they're dealing with loss here and it's painful, they're trying to heal. They do want peace with you, they want to make this right, they want to fix your heart, they want to at least, you know, start with friendship and and bring the light back into the situation. Uh, the honoring past. They want to give you um, public attention or they want to show you to the public and because they're very proud of you. They want to honor. I feel like you've helped them grow. They look up to you. You could do something on social media. You could do something in life coaching department. They feel like you changed their luck, that you saved them in some sense. They want to give you recognition for that. They're letting go of old karmics, um, anything that doesn't serve, dark night of the soul, toxic energy. They're getting rid of it, closing all the doors to open that door with you. Yeah, they want to come in with a, a solid commitment. They want to be your loving person, and they don't want to have any drama or any complications when they do come, other than having to prove their love to you and forgiveness. They don't they don't want their karmic to get involved or people in the, their life to get involved. They're, they're changing for you to be their, your loving person. Let's close it off with some animal tarot. Ten of crystals, stability and attainment. Yeah, they want to offer you stability, so they're trying to attain it. More money, a house, something solid to offer you. Six of feathers, transition, insight. This is them recognizing that you're a twin flame. 
that you are important spiritually. So they're working on themselves, loving themselves, working on their spirituality, doing that healing work. Two of acorns, insight and focus. Again, recognizing that you are their life's purpose, their life mission, and they're locked on action towards you. You're taking action whether you see it or not. Five of crystals, persistence, new possibilities. They're, they're not going to take no for an answer when they come in. Even if you're mad, they're going to be like, I know you're mad, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm your twin flame. You're the love of my life. I'm the love of your life. This is how it's going to be. I'm sorry. You're just going to have to forgive me. <laughs> they're not going to give up. Nine of acorns, power and perseverance. Yeah. They see the power in your connection. They see that this is a divine connection with a divine purpose. Again, referencing they're not going to give up. Um, maybe they did before, but they're going to prove to you that they're not going anywhere so that you can trust them. Ten of feathers, recovery, transformation. Yes, they're recovering from getting out of that marriage, long-term situation, recovering from their broken heart, recovering from feeling crappy about themselves about running from you getting out of that dark night of the soul all that healing work night of acorns again action and drive they're taking action they're coming towards you you give them drive in life you are their ambition you are their muse you are the love of their life they're preparing for you you just don't see it coming it's kind of cute <laughs> let me know in the comments how they come in because this one is going to be a little bit pushy but not the bad sense of pushy. They're just going to show up every day like, you can be mad at me today. Maybe you won't be mad at me tomorrow. I'm going to come back every day until I prove that I'm not going anywhere, that I'm in it to win it for life. I want you to be my husband or my wife or whatever. They're not going to go anywhere until they have you, which is super cute. I hope you enjoyed that pile three. I hope everybody enjoyed that. Please hit the like button and the subscribe, and I will see you next time. Love and light, everybody.